so we are back with the M1 Pro. Uh, we've got the rotary chuck and the rotary roller. Um, we're going to see if we can get the BSL app simple to control this correctly, which we can obviously. We've done that in the past. I haven't used it recently, but and then we are going to run the new Lightburn test program. I think it's uh, 1.7.00. Uh, it might have gone to version 10 and I had an email set of a notification within Lightburn itself to say there was a, a version 12 now. But strangely my PC flagged that up as a uh, virus so it was interesting I haven't looked into that. So what we're trying to prove here is that it is working in BSL app simple and then we're going to try and do exactly the same uh, in Lightburn. So the key things here, we have created a document, we have entered the text here, in this case I've now changed it to 5 millimeters because I'm kind of running out of room on my test flask. <laughs> I've been printing all these big ones this afternoon just to make sure it's all okay. Uh, so we've typed that out, we have then just right clicked on the text and uh, we've gone to transformation and then rotated it 90 degrees so that's that uh, the next stage is to well, we're going to click red eye outline and uh, normally you will get that okay if you see that when you're doing any of these uh, you know red mark tests that is not going to work properly you do not want to see that when the rotary chuck or roller is connected so we stop that, that is centered, no problems. We go to uh, movement axis, we go to uh, rotating text mark, and that comes up here. These are the settings that have worked for me. Extended axis one, uh, axis, no choice there. Y, workpiece diameter, that is obviously this and that is 71 millimeters. This doesn't seem to make any difference. Um, you can do a quick test by clicking that and you'll see that it will go backwards and forwards like so. Uh, you do have to go, actually if we now hit red, F1, that is what you need to be able to see. You probably uh, can not get it in. It's a little K that should be showing you one letter of your text. If it isn't, you've got a, uh, a problem. Uh, if you then go into config, you might need reversal. Um, you certainly need rotary access. You need that enabled with a reduction ratio of 5. Make sure we've got 6400 there, there, and there. And uh, that should then be okay. You can check the mark, check the alignment, etc. And then hit mark. And that will do each letter in turn. And I had this earlier on, I couldn't work out why it was spinning around like this. Uh, a minute ago when I tried it, um, it didn't do that. Yeah, it stopped now. Uh, don't know why that is, I'm sure it's in here somewhere, but uh, yeah, whatever. Anyway, so that is clearly working with BSL App Simple, and now we are going to test it with um, Lightburn. So, back in a minute, I'll join these videos together. Okay, so I have moved on to Lightburn and again just created the text, it's bloody lighting, uh, 5 mil text there. Um, I've set it to fill, uh, I've done 100 speed and 100% power just so we can see it. Uh, this is the result I've just got um, but there are some things to uh, consider let me go back to 
the main problem is it seemed to just want to print in a very small area. I mean, it barely moved. So what we've done there is gone into uh, rotary setup and we've selected roller. We've enabled the rotary. Uh, return to starting point. I've got it reversed. Now I don't know what these are. I don't know what the split size is. I don't know what the overlap is. Now this seemed to be the one that made all the difference. Now I've taken that apart and I've measured the rollers in there and they are 31.5 mil. So I've taken that as the roller diameter. Now steps per rotation, this was a, quite a low figure. So what I ended up doing was I've just put a pencil mark there and I've just adjusted these uh, steps per rotation until um, it would spin right the way around onto that mark. And what you can do there is select the Y axis. Um, this makes no difference apparently. Object diameter, which in my case was 72 mil, it's uh, not having any effect on the settings, but it does tell you the circumference, which is uh, interesting. Um, here we've got motor speed second, sec yeah, <laughs> motor speed settings, and I've just tried to copy those from uh, BSL app simple as much as possible. But let's just go to test with the current steps per rotation. So bang on there. It never seems to quite go back exactly where it started from though. Yeah, not so bad this time. Um, this unfortunately isn't parallel so when I was trying it further down there was another mark there. It was probably messing around. If it was a true cylinder it would probably be spot on. Uh, so with that setting going a full revolution now you can try to print and what I'll do is I'll see if I can just print on a part that hasn't got too much on it. The dots are still aligned and this time we'll just do a quick just go up in speed just so I can show it to you. The marking won't be as good obviously but that doesn't matter. Let's take it to 500, there we go, so 500 millimeters a second. Speed, again frequency doesn't seem to have a, have a hell of a lot of um, effect. So we can go to frame and that's what we've got. The stop button does not seem to work, we have to close it. And now if we do start, and then start again. Oop, what happened there? Oh, there we go, it's doing it. You can see it's doing 2,284 2, lines, and that's how many slices, rather, and that's how many it's processed so far. Um, why is that so slow? I'm just going to stop that and reposition this because it spins right the way around. Let's put it there, and now let's change. Let's close that down. Let's change this to 1000. And we'll try that again. Oh, we've got the resolution very low, um, you know, a very high resolution set, that's what the problem there is. So it's not actually going to make it 
very much quicker. So I'm going to stop it again. We are going to go over here and just change the resolution so this does it much quicker. It's got to point 0.1, 0 0.1 rather. And uh, we'll start that again. Let's just spin this round again. And let's go. very much. The point is it's going round. Okay. It's weird, am I missing something? Maximum power 100, speed, fill. Anyway, I think we'll change that back down to one. Oh, that's thing. Let's change that to 100. Speed 100. And uh, oh, let's give that another go. It's actually different to the one I did earlier. <laughs> I don't know why. Oh dear. Much weaker this time. We will let this go. Ah, oh, of course, the resolution has changed, hasn't it? I've gone from 0.001 to 0.1. No, I'm not a light burn expert. I'm sure the light burn experts can come in here and say, well, this, you're doing this wrong, that wrong, and everything else wrong. So hopefully somebody will come in. Uh, it seems a bit odd that you're going to have to work out these steps per single revolution uh, all the time. But and again, you can see there that that has clearly printed that OK. Yes, you can see the lines at that resolution, and that was the darker one. So, look, it works. Uh, that's the main thing as far as correct setup, tweaking things. If anyone can tell me what split size and overlap are, that would be really nice to know. Um, other than that, yeah, split size, overlap. I suppose I can mess around with those and see what it alters so yeah let me know uh, how what your setup is but at least this proves light burn 1.7.00 beta 10 and probably beta 12 work uh, just fine with the uh, mr carvin one pro